Hello, hello everyone. Uh, good day. I'm very glad to welcome you at this presentation, at this conference. My name is Ruslan Ibrahimov, and I represent the uh, Yaroslavl uh, Airframe Company, the uh, plant for finished Dodge forms. Okay, we'll start with a short representation of uh, our company. And then I will tell about the implementation of serialization on uh, our plant. Um, first of all, uh, high-tech factories of Airfarm Group provide ample opportunities for production of most types of products that are mostly in demand by the healthcare system, such as medicines, active pharmaceutical ingredients, laboratory equipment, and so on. The Yaroslav plant of finished dosage forms uh, is a multifunctional site that is in the center of air farms production and logistics operations in Russia. The production of a number of drugs is carried out here. Uh, we are working with leading pharmaceutical companies such uh, as uh, Abby, um, UCB, Dr. Redis, MSD, and so on and so on. Um, our company produces active pharmaceutical ingredients, capsules, refilled syringes, solutions, and tablets. And uh, to speak about implementation of serialization, I want to tell you about how the track and trace system was implemented at our enterprise and about the equipment for serialization and aggregation that we use at our company. To begin with, I want to say that our company was one of the first in the country to launch this marking. The Air Farm Company being the largest manufacturer and supplier of innovative medicines has become a pioneer in the creation of the protection system for its products. Um, uh, realizing the needs of the highest quality drugs for the treatment of the most complex and deadly social diseases, a farm is constantly working to ensure effective treatment and eliminate opportunities for the uh, appearance of uh, cancer feed products among consumers. In order to ensure control over the legal turnover of its products, in 2014-2015, Airfarm developed and began to implement the track and trace system which allows real-time detection of attempts to legalize counterfeit products and properly take action on violations. Back in 2017, when the requirements of mandatory labeling for medicines were not established. By the way, in Russia, uh, this uh, labeling taking into account several postponements of its terms began only the 1st of July 2020. But anyway, our company has participated in an experiment to implement this federal monitoring of the movement of medicine system. In June 2017, our company was one of the first to be registered, re registered in the drug movement monitoring system. And the first commercial batches were released at our plant in the middle of 2017. In autumn of 2014, as one of the measures to combat counterfeiting, it was decided to implement a unique labeling for each package of goods for the subsequent identification of our product and tracking the places of their distribution. Uh, control was carried out by applying a unique code on the data matrix format to the package and then fixing it using scanners or mobile devices. As a system of traceability and verification of drugs, so-called track and trace, 
we uh, use our domestic company, which is called Original, which was modernized in according with our terms of reference, according to which the system correctly generates and necessary reports, taking into account our production process. Also, an interface was provided via web panel and also a mobile application. Then um, we had to use a supplier of our equipment. At that time, we were already familiar with the equipment of the Vipatech OCS company, which has proven itself in the Russian market. This company was able to provide us with a showcase sample of the serialization system for rent so that we can test it on the implementation of the labeling process. OCS helped us in every possible way and we exchanged experience with each other and in the implementation of the serialization process. During this time, we faced a number of difficulties uh, during which it was necessary to modernize our production process, the computeriz computerized data, and also the OCS equipment, so that the whole process became streamlined and integrated into each other. Um, the OCS service engineers visited our site to customize the system to our production lines, to modernize the interface. Together, we have experimented with a selection of inks and fonts, taking into account the printed materials for our products. We had packs with different designs, sizes, and storage conditions. For example, there were packs of small size where it was necessary to adjust the transporters and fonts in such a way that the variable data will fit into the required fields. There were also overall packs where it was necessary to increase the distance between the guides and to equip the line with a pusher for mechanical rejection because the compressed air was not enough to reject. There also were packs that we needed to be stored in cold conditions. For example, uh, vaccines against the new coronavirus infection, which has to be stored at minus, 30, minus 25 degrees. Uh, for this, we experimented with the representatives of OCS on the sex selection of ink. So there will be no smearing during storage variable data. All the time, we purchased three more serialization and aggregation systems from OCS to equip all our lines. Each of these systems has been tailored to our requirements. One of these lines was integrated into the tablet packaging line and was synchronized with the cartoning machine ahead of it. The other was integrated to a liquid form production line and had a print head on the top of it to plot variable data on the top flap with the bottle upright. The third line was manual loading, but at the same time it had two cameras and two print heads so you could apply variable data both from the top and from the side. This was very convenient for narrow packs when the text data can be applied on the top flap and the data matrix code on the side. Also, one of the print heads and the camera had the ability to switch their position, which greatly facilitated uh, uh, which was greatly for our setup. The operator could easily switch the print position to the right or to the left side. In uh, 2018, together with the Center for Development of Advanced Technologies, 
which is it's a unified national system for digital marketing and tracking of goods. We, together with the OCS, conducted tests on the implementation of a crypto encrypting system, verification codes and electronic signature as a part of the identification identificational tool. So that these uh, data matrix codes and uh, with uh, 44 cryptographic codes uh, with 44 or 88 cryptographic protection symbols was verified with uh, using OCS equipment. And it was verified successfully. Among other things, we have equipped our production lines with the standard data matrix code verifiers, which in a continuous production process, allow us to control that the OCS equipment correctly grades the quality of data matrix codes application. And today, our production site uh, has four OCS serialization systems four aggregation systems, one of which, the newest, is integrated in the system for automatic stacking of packs in a corrugated box. Since the beginning of 2020, our company has produced about 20 million packages with a product marked with identification means. Now our company has expanded its ca capacity and launched the production of a coronavirus vaccine in a new production building. But we're not stopping at this either, and we plan to launch another production building for coronavirus vaccines next year, including the form of flash disease. So due to the new challenges for production, we had made a lot of work together with company Vipatech OCS, and we have find solution and customize all our equipment for our needs. So thank you everyone. Uh, that's all. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Ruslan, for, for your presentation. Is there any questions for me? Is there some question for Ruslan from the audience? Question from the from the chat, uh, Anastasia. Sorry. Okay. So Ruslan, previously we were talking with uh, the second presentation about uh, the drop of effectiveness uh, regarding uh, OE for the production lines. So what is your experience on that with the, the projects that you described? Did you see a drop in terms of uh, effectiveness and after going back to the, to the right level? So what is your experience on that? Mm. You know, I, did, I wasn't, uh, can you explain what do you mean? Because I didn't, uh, I wasn't able to connect before that uh, my conference, my, uh, my text. So uh, I don't know what were you talking about before. Can you yeah, no, I, make I, a sh short explanation? We, usually when we implement uh, serialization uh, capabilities, we see a drop in the efficiency of the packaging lines. So in terms of overall equipment effectiveness. So I was asking you if you saw that kind of decrease when you implemented that on your production lines in terms of efficiency. Mm. We are working uh, about four years with the v Vipotech uh, equipment, but there was no uh, losing the, of the capacity or any drops, but uh, we have uh, modernized the old machines and uh, like changing the belts or something that we usually modernize in our equipment. 
but uh, there were no, I can't t- tell you that there were any drops of capacity of uh, drops of efficiency in the quality. We just changed the uh, cartridge for the ink, changed some materials like uh, the conveyor belts. Okay, okay. So thank you for for your answer, for your presentation. Uh, thank you very much.